Actually, I think it's amazing that we just deep dived booze. <laughs> <But, laughs> Only this pod. The, the booze didn't need to be explained. Yeah. Now deep, we broke down. Here. Come you on, this, yeah. the kings. You see Gave the correlation? The, the layers <laughs> of the booze. Um, huh? The layers. Come on. We, we there broke was layers. Yeah. Yeah. You see how For we broke sure. that down? Rap genius. Who? Now <laughs> let's let's keep this on performances and dive right into Summer Walker. I have the clip. The most save the clip. The most the interesting case of Miss Summer Walker. Yeah, I say interesting because I have been watching this develop for weeks, months, even shit, years, really. I mean, yeah, but I've, I've been goes. watching more intuitively in recent months. Uh, and we've been to Summer Walker's show in New York. That was her first show in New York. It did. It was sold out. Brooklyn, Brooklyn right? Yeah, it was, no, was, Bowery Room. Oh, it was Bowery. Okay. Oh, Bowery Room. We, we almost got it shaken at the Summer Walker show. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That would have been bad. That would have been horrible. I swear, I never want to go out with any of you. <laughs> it had nothing to do with us. Yeah, no. I don't care. I don't care. Um, I don't want to fight at the Summer Walker. I don't want to fight at an R and B concert. Yeah, no, but that's no, not that's not the place. Not at all. Um, Summer Walker. I've I was seeing the the whispers the whispers from different fans that have attended the show. Uh, if you've ever attended a show, or if, no, not attended. If you've ever performed at a show or done a show. One of the first things you do when you get off of the stage is see what people are saying about the show. A lot of artists have like a 20 minute gap in their car ride to the hotel where they just retweet all of the great things from the show. It's normally around 2.30 a.m. I think it's really cute when you see it happening. I don't act like we haven't done it with our live shows. Absolutely. <laughs> do it all the time. <laughs> with, yo, I only speak from experience, Rory. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm never comparing. I'm always identifying. I, I recognize it because we did it. Yeah. We We're going to do it again, didn't, too. And didn't do it well. Let me say that because I've always hated promo, which is why this Summer Walker topic that we have broached a lot with different artists, Party Next Door being one of them, Bryson Tiller being one, two of them. There's a bunch of the new wave that suffers from some of the things that Summer Walker is speaking about. Social, uh, Ari social. Le Ari Lennox just went through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Same time, dude. So, yeah. Social anxiety, social awkwardness. Just being overwhelmed with the show experience. With, <laughs> with people. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, and it's, it's, I can I can identify with absolutely. that. It's one of the reasons that I have a hard time in clubs. Now y'all laugh at me. Y'all laugh at me. I agree with you. When I walk I, in I the think, club, I think all four. I of have, like I that. have anxiety. <laughs> I walk in a club and I find the nearest empty corner, empty somewhere. Rory don't invite me nowhere without having an empty space somewhere, See? just it's away. A, it's a good from, friend from things. I really appreciate that about you, yeah. honestly. So. It's only interesting here because Summer Walker is an artist, and as a consumer, do you really give a fuck about any of that? If you um, are coming to a show as a consumer to see your favorite act, and this is where, and I can't, I can't speak to it because I haven't seen her recent show on tour, but I've seen a lot of people saying they started killing her for the meet and greet, which yeah. made me want to come in here and ask you gentlemen... What would you expect from a meet and greet from your from one of the artists that you fuck with? What do you mm. expect? And, well, we've, and, some, we've, and we've done meet and greets. Done a lot of meet and greets. Give, give some backstory on, on what she was saying, though, with her meet and greets. She Say, was saying that she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't uh, hug everybody because the transference of energy. So, she's you big know. on energy. She doesn't yeah. want to hug every single person. She doesn't know what you're going through. She doesn't know what you're going to transfer to her. So she says hello and thank you. Which is as spaced out and hippie as it is, I don't think that you should expect... A hug necessarily. I don't think you or... should expect a hug from any person on planet Earth. Now stop! Now <laughs> right. stop right there. I will not allow y'all to do that to fans. Uh, who said it's a meet and greet, not a hug and meet? Said well, who said that the fans? And I'm targeting in on the word expect. Who the fuck said they expect a hug? Don't interrupt me. Y'all have done meet and greets with me, and a bunch of times. I didn't feel like doing that fucking meet and greet same, mm. same because of, of where <laughs> because of where I was in life. Not the same as all of us because y'all have a certain crew that's there to see y'all, and I have a certain crew that's there to see me. I've done meet and greets for a long time. Mm, it's yeah. a large amount of people that come out and support. Yeah, right. 
So when Joe ain't in the mood, boy, it can come off wrong. But you're great at meet it's and no- I got to give you that. I've seen you do meet and greets for 10 years now. You know what I mean? You do an except Even when you're in a bad in mood, a really it's like, this mood. is going to go bad, but then you're giving hugs. And that's kind of where I want to take this for y'all, just, yeah. to, just for a different perspective. Not that these fans expect a hug. Right. Because to be truth, truth be told, the fans never know what to expect at the meet and greet. Ever. They don't know what's no. happening. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're like, can we say hi? Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The fans don't Sometimes know fans shit. Are Sometimes yeah. fans are awkward. Most, uh, most of the most time, time, most of the time fans are awkward, are awkward right? Yeah. So a Summer Walker fan come up to Summer. Now, the Joe Budden fans made the Joe Budden meet and greet very easy because it was so intimate and personal. The experience, the music was like, you can't be a dick to niggas that's in that same. It was a lot of mental health struggle shit with us. Mm. That was our thing. If I'm a Summer Walker fan and her music connects with me, it's not that I'm expecting a hug. Mm. It's I'm I'm here to meet Summer Walker. Right. Mm -hmm. Period. Right. If my experience in doing that is just not a pleasurable one, Uh, yeah, yeah, I may highlight the fact that I didn't get a hug. No, I'm not going to listen to But there was a lot more highlighted than just that. And for someone to be an energy person, right. you have to be aware of the energy you're giving off. For sure. This, and this is like, this is a great conversation because this really goes into like technology and music it's all creation. It's all like It's it. a lot of that. Because she has the right to do, to do this. Absolutely. But at a certain point in time, like that wasn't really an option. You know what I'm saying? Going back to the argument that we often have getting on back in the day versus getting on now. You couldn't get on unless you went and met people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you can get popping and be a complete oh, yeah. social introvert. Like, I can't look at people, talk to people, now, et cetera. Now, let's add some capitalism well, to also, that. Wait, uh, hold up. Well, I was going to say, just quickly, I don't want to take away from her point of what you're saying. She isn't saying she's being a dick to any of them or not giving them a good experience. She's saying we spread love, we laugh, we talk about all that shit, we talk about my music, compliments, all that bullshit. You she's are, just saying not a hug. You that, are not the determiner of what a good experience is at the meet and greet. That's true. That is true. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to say a and hug. The fans are not a determiner of <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Yeah, don't like, do that. I'm not going to say that. Dope either, though. Yeah. The fans don't determine if the meet and greet was dope. The fuck they do? Yeah, well, they, they do. Don't. They're the customer. Yes, they do. <laughs> wait, and before y'all finish. Because a fan can say meet and greet wasn't dope because you don't want to fucking take the shirt that you have on off your back and give it to them. They can say that wasn't a dope experience. But the general. Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say the general public would say that. Fan is bugging. This may be a really bad... I think the fans are bugging for wanting... Can I say anything on this podcast, please? Yeah. Uh, Maul, this might be a really bad example of this, but when we were having that uh, whole uh, sex abuser conversation or or, uh, whatever conversation that was when I said uh, one person coming forward is one thing, Uh, 40 people coming forward is another. Mm -hmm. And I bring that same example here. I'm, we're not talking about what one fan said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we would never have a conversation about what one fan said. Okay. Or what two, three, four, five, or six fans said. Mm-hmm. This is only a conversation because this conversation traveled with the tour. Mm-hmm. We, wouldn't do, we wouldn't say this. We know the obligation and the rules of me. We're a little savvy with this. Hey, you say your hello, you take your picture, you take your time, snap it up. Some of them want to talk. You give an ear if you can. If not, there's a lot of people to get to. Let me add the capitalism point to this. Because some of the fans don't know. Every Summer Walker show I've seen has been sold out. Yep. Not to be the guy with the clicker counting things. Right. They're not small rooms. At yeah, all. At all. Let's guess the room size. What do you want to give her? Three, five thousand people. Doing, yeah, yeah. Three to five thousand people. The Nova two, is probably between two, five, and probably twenty. Let's say between five. two and five, yeah, somewhere, bro. somewhere between in there. Between two, five, and five. The it's, Nova was definitely more than two. If five. you get in that, and people connect with you on an energy level, uh, you probably have over a hundred meet and greets at every show. I'm sure, mm-hmm. and more that could it. also be a, a conversation to be had. Is are they? The people that are handling the meet and greet stuff, putting too much on her, because like I've been in situations where, uh, the it was awry. There was no one keeping an eye eye on what people were allowed to do. Unorganized, of, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. On, people doing whatever the fuck they wanted. Well, basically. and a lot of times it's, it's written in the meet and greet package what you get. You right, get a poster, a picture, a dap, whatever you want to call it, and you move on. A lot of people will come up to us on tour and be like, "Wow, we actually get to like talk to you." Most meet and greets is. A, I think it's awkward when when they just stand there quietly and then take a picture and walk away. 
I yeah. feel like, damn, you ain't get your money's worth. Right. <laughs> Speaking of money's worth, back to my capitalism point. What I'm saying is, at each show, these meet and greets are adding an extra five digits in in uh, income. Yes. Yeah. It's a significant. So now jump. that puts you at the crossroads as someone with social anxiety, and it's maybe not it's maybe not you because you're not handling your business. It puts your handlers at a crossroads because. Some of your handlers, it is their job to protect your best interest. So what is your best interest in that moment? Is it the extra five digits on the end goal, on the back end? Because I got to tell you, niggas, that looks sexy when it comes. Yeah. Right? Y'all was just telling me how great that tour money was. Which is why we'll be in A Baltimore ba- and in Philadelphia <laughs> on December 7th. And we love being and December 8th. Hey. We're, we're hey. in New York at some time in December. Me, I forgot the date already. Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, December 19th, we're in New York. There December 7th and 8th, we're in Baltimore and Philadelphia. And buddy boy, I tell you, the meet and greets are fucking superb. Yes. <laughs> Maul will be hugging every lady Come that, on, that man. enters into the meet Wait, and Wait, and Maul is going to tell y'all that's crazy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Some, See, y'all, y'all know, not giving you that. Y'all know how more giving up at the meeting group. No, 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 Wally and Ma. Takes it to the next level. More go- I mean, that more. Rory going to give you his signature he stole from Hove. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a Rory signature, look at it, man. It wow. looks too cool. It's a good like, signature. No, but that's corny. You stole it from somewhere. You shouldn't have a cool signature if you just start signing signatures. I watched it. Why is your signature cool? <laughs> Because you have to sign things in life, Joe. <laughs> not just no, not, not just posters. Signing things and an autograph is very are very different, no, and I'm not which, letting him do that. No, which his which, autograph looks cool. I'll yeah. tell you what's really he bad. practiced this as as before sunset my... was born. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. before the sunset. That's how I signed everything. Four forty life. minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's true, it's true. Which is bad because they have my real signature that I signed with like money and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably not a good idea. I sign things that way. It's just the only way not to sign shit. After the meet and greet debacle, fans fans took to their socials <laughs> to express. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Because anytime you say that, it's took funny. to their socials. Took to their socials. Took to their socials. <laughs> yeah, it's like a weapon. They like, took to it. <laughs> yeah, it's a weapon. You've never took to anything yeah. in your life. Yo, fans took to their socials <laughs> and said, "Listen, fuck the meet and greet. <laughs> I didn't even get the meet and greet. The show was just bad." Oh, she's not a good performer? I've never seen her live. She said, they said, well, first came, she was in L.A., and I paid attention to this because of that whole L.A. gate that she went through when she was dissing the bumps. Don't. And before I go any further, let me just say, I fuck with Summer, and I, I, I enjoy her. I think she's got a great album. I, y'all, I fuck with Summer. You've seen her live. I have seen her live. Yeah. But because of that L.A. shit that she went through, I was watching this, so she brought out some friends. She brought out Ari. She brought out Usher. She brought out whoever she brought out. And... People started killing this Usher and Summer performance. Man, it was the laziest sack of shit they ever seen. And then when I saw the video, I was like, okay, I could see how maybe somebody else could say that. I wasn't there, so whatever. Right. Then more comments started coming out saying, she just up, she sat down for half the set, which, mind you, that's a that's, huge part of some acts. Yeah, I was going to say, sitting for down some, in R&B, right especially. Set, like, especially in R&B. Yeah. Uh, and but, her, her type of R&B is not super choreographed type music. Right. But let me also say, if you don't fuck with that vibe, I could see how it's interpreted as laziness. Nah, that's not fair. I can. Well, the second, well, the second uh, criticism was, like, fam, you're checking your phone a lot during the show. Oh, she's on her phone in the show? Why are you checking your phone on a chair during a show? And the third criticism which was my biggest criticism at this New York show, but it's your first show in New York, and I'm old and washed and disconnected, so I won't say anything. But the third criticism was, nigga, did I pay to come see you sing, or did I pay for you to hear me sing? (laughs) There is an art to putting the mic to the crowd. Right. I remember the first time I saw it, it was Jay-Z at a summer jam. Where he just put the microphone on the floor and Summer Jam did the verse. <laughs> it was powerful. Right. Since then, it's been fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fucked. It's been different since then. Yeah. So at the show that we went to, I love Summer Walker music. Did she check her phone? So guess what? 
I'm not there on, with a with a, a sexy soft lady next to me. I'm there with y'all. You had a sexy soft lady with you. You did. Ooh. Sin was with Sin us. came to the show with us. <laughs> and I'm not calling your baby mother sexy soft. <laughs> yo, yo, I, yo, I, I got I'm yo. not see ho. Let me let me just uh, let me I'm clearing that up because I'm not saying I think your lady is sexy and soft. I'm just saying you had a female fam. I'm just saying you had a female with you is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying is it was it was a woman with you. That's all I'm saying. It was a woman. It was a woman. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, I know. I'm just saying it was, it was a woman with you. That's all. Say don't do that. Uh, but still, I had y'all with me. I yeah. wasn't just <laughs> alone yeah, with, no. uh, I get it. with yeah. my uh, ex fiance. I had y'all with me. Yes. And the first thing I said was, yo, I came here because I'm such a huge fan of your music and I want to hear you sing the songs. You're sitting in a chair. That bothers me because they told me my whole career not to sit in a chair. But it's R&B, so it's different. It's different. Much different. different. Yeah. It's different. And, I don't want to see no rapper sitting in a chair. That, that's odd. I didn't want to see. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to see an R and B act sit in the chair for the for the whole. But she, but she, changed, but she did oh, She changed her her stage. She show changed the stool. Yeah, well, she changed the chair. She has, she has, <laughs> she has, she has the different setups back there. She came she came a, a tan stool no, at one she point. Has the, the, the dancers up there with her now on the poles, like Maul, the look I, I, you can't. But, but you, it, Maul, it wait, no, 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 no. Before you get to ultimately comes down, you cannot fool me with cosmetics. And what I mean is, hey. Oh, you've we've all been fooled with cosmetics. <laughs> you shut up. That's true. Today, <laughs> very true. Today, we've all been fooled. Yeah. A performer cannot fool me with the amazing uh, smoke machines, background dancers, and live band. I'm gonna acknowledge the drummer killing shit for about five minutes, right. and then I'm back to looking at you. <laughs> I'm here for you. So yeah, when her she energy kept, is low. when she kept putting that mic to the crowd. <clears throat> The crowd sung every two-minute song. This is before the great album with longer songs. Yeah, so imagine how I felt as a consumer. But I didn't say nothing because it's supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. Right. I am very familiar with Summer Walker's history. I fuck with her people. They pulled her from wherever they pulled her from. And she was just dope as hell where she was at. Mm -hmm. Like It's like singing in the shower. Like, y'all niggas got grave misconceptions about celebrities. They're just people still. <laughs> True. So they pull Summer Walker from wherever they pull her from. She's got amazing songs. Now they got to put her in there and come out with an album. You got to learn how to perform. You got to learn how to look. You got to learn this. Man, fuck all that as a new artist. But you got to learn how to do it. Like, they always highlight the old Daily News article that was killing Beyonce for not being like Ashanti. You got to learn how to do it. You have to learn how to do it. So I can't knock an artist, especially today when we beef about the lack of artist development right. in the industry. I can't knock an artist for succeeding early in their career and figuring it out on the go. When niggas ask Joe for advice, yo, what should I do? I got a podcast, yo. What should I do? I got an album, yo. What should I do? I got this. I, yo, know what I say? I say start. Stop, stop wasting your fucking time asking me what you should do. Nigga, I don't even know you or your interests. Mm. I don't know nothing about you. I don't know what you can afford, what you can't afford, your talent level, where you've been, who you know. I don't know shit, but I know that if you start, if you just start and you're committed enough, you'll figure it out on the go. You'll, you'll have no choice. The, the, the luxury of having a choice is gone when you start. So Summer Walker started. She got with an amazing team. The music was amazing from the rip, and she had to learn the music business now. And that can be overwhelming for somebody who was just in Atlanta shooting the shit with eight stripper friends. Especially learning the music business and there's a lot to it. Like performing, she had to learn how to perform and yeah. learn the music business and learn the interview game and all the, the different shit that goes with it. And not, not just performing on stage, how to maintain off stage in between shows is just as important. Absolutely. And I'm going to make a point. Right now, that's going to sound like the stupidest point in the world. But I'm a genius, so I don't say things that are stupid a lot. It just sounds stupid. Do not underestimate a woman in love. Period. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that because I have seen it firsthand in the industry when our favorite artists 
fall in love. Yeah. No, they don't want to do the show. <laughs> no. Yeah. A woman in love? Fred trying to go kick off. I'm laying up. Yeah. I can name some examples of that, but we'll respect anonymity. But yeah, Summer is in a relationship. Great album. Socially awkward, anxiety, mental, has all types of shit going on. Maybe she don't want to hug a nigga. I am not going to hang or crucify new acts for how they decide to new act. Because I'm not a new fucking act. I don't think that it's the most unheard of thing for a female artist, especially, to not be touched during meet and greets, though. In her defense. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a I think that's a, a pretty normal thing, thing at for all. probably female artists yeah. meeting greets. I don't think you're touching Beyonce or Rihanna at their meeting greets. Well, I don't think they do not that greets, but <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean, though. I'm not sure that the average Summer Walker fan is so familiar with what should and shouldn't happen at of a course. meeting greet. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. I think you are talking about a savvier consumer. Yeah. That kind of, and I'm no, sure. No, I think Parks is just speaking to, think, the, to the rules no, that agree. are set already. Right. That they enforce. Maybe they're not being enforced at her shows but at a lot of shows when it's a female singer rapper whatever you want to call it you're not touching her I mean I do respect the fact that she is talking about her, her social anxiety and you know, addressing her fans like you know listen if she's not comfortable being around you know people and being on the road and you know then listen it is what it is she, she makes well, great music and she'll grow into it though I, fans, if, if I had to give her advice I would say you can you can get through it and grow into it if you want to do it if you don't want to do it then you don't want to do it fans can be so fucking hypocritical in so many places which I guess they're buying the music so you can have an opinion but if you connect with me so much with within my lyrics and what I'm going through with my life don't get mad when it may affect yours too don't mm-hmm. connect to my music so much and then you listen to what I'm saying and then I act that same way and say, yo, I can't do these shows anymore. Yeah. Mm. I'm a mess right now. And I Leave me I, alone. Another thing she should probably do, uh, what a uh, camp should have her do is not be on social media so much. I, I said think, that last I think, time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, that, I think that would help a lot. You don't have I to. Think, I think some of she, she's, she, she strikes me as the type of, of woman that... Sits back and literally reads every. I yeah. I agree thing. Do we know how old Summer is? Because this is actually like a broader social she thing. 25, 24, 25. Like De- definitely early twenties, I think. Someone that age doesn't know what it's like to not use social can I, media. Can I just throw music something? or otherwise? Can I just can- throw something in from the introvert bag here? Mm-hmm. Uh, to Parks' point about age, but on the introvert tip, I totally disagree with that, Maul. And what? As an introvert, I loved. And still do love the fact that, but you got to bring yourself to when the internet She's first 23. popped. She's 23, go ahead. You got to bring yourself to when the internet first popped. The idea that you can be home. And be social. And be social yeah. is the best thing in the world for someone with social anxiety yeah. and with certain introverts. Now, when I have to go out, <laughs> I don't have that same feeling. It's, the different, it's a different vibe. Yeah, Now, but I think- when you add to that... Are reoccurring conversations of how uh, how social media impacts new artists and how artists use it. It's back to that crossroads I said that she's at yet again. Well, it's not a crossroads here because it's social media is nobody around. You could do you can do that. It's a safe place there. But once I have to get out in the universe, yeah, I kind I kind of I stand with her uh, to an extent. I do. I, I, I understand. I understand what's happening. And let me not say, when she canceled the tour dates, I didn't think it was a lie. I, like, I believe you. I believe that this is serious enough for you to dead all of this. I don't believe that the show's called and said, we're not taking you anymore, or the ticket yeah, sales no, no, are no, slow. No, no, no. Gosh, all of the normal not, lies, I don't yet. believe. Yeah. The only reason this could be is, yeah, what I'm saying is true. I don't fuck with this shit. This is now a bad look on my career, and let's dead this so I can just get back to the music. To Rory's point early, the same thing that Ari Lennox expressed a few weeks ago. Right. She tweeted, I'm not doing no shows. Fuck you niggas. I hate y'all. <laughs> I mean... I fuck with Ari. I followed her as soon as she said it. <laughs> well, no, I watched her whole breakdown on live, too, and she certainly wasn't lying. But what did Ari <laughs> say that, was, that stemmed from, though? Uh, she just felt... Uh, I actually appreciated the honesty of saying I didn't realize it took this much work to be an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was fly. Like I thought that was dope that she yeah, said that. She, she keeps it a bean. Like yeah. uh, that's why I follow her because most of us don't know the work yeah, that comes like, along with being. No, an artist. this is gonna 
break me if I keep going at this path. I need to find out a new way to make my music and give it to my fans without doing the path I'm on now. Yeah. Because it just won't work for me. Right. Yeah. And I respect it. Me too. I think, I think someone should just do like maybe spot shows, like one show here, one show in the Unfortunately for her, <clears throat> the music she makes is too great, so it will continue to grow her audience. She might have to like start going out with like a hoodie on or something so people don't recognize her and doing like fucking open mics or something like that, just to get used to being in front of people, whether it's a small level or not. I don't know if she's too famous to do that, but... You could dead to meet and greets. That's who I think that's dead, the first start. You yeah. could dead to meet and greets. But, you know, she went from probably doing... No shows to doing shows of five thousand cap. That's that's a pretty big. She jump. she had a, a yeah. quick, you know. She didn't get to, yeah. she didn't get to go thug it out for a while. Yeah, doing that's like I'm always saying, you now things happen so fast for artists that they look up and they be like, "Yo, I just wanted to make music and just like be home and play it loud in my house." Yeah. Our, I didn't want to have to go state to state and perform in front of three thousand people. In I there. think our argument always in that fight was cool, but it's easy, it's it's more difficult to sustain it. And this is another. Notch in that argument You know what the I'm The crazy saying? thing is I think this is gonna work for her I think this is gonna like Now when she decides To do a show It's gonna sell out immediately Because they're gonna be like We don't know when she'll be ready To come out and Perform again So I mean Most oh, importantly Oh so you're talking about Her career And not her Mental health No but that's what I was getting to next But the important part is Is she is paying attention To her mental health and she does understand that, you know, she's putting that first. So I do respect her and I salute her. For and you know what? Let me just tell the entertainers out there, at least the ones that need to hear this. Don't be afraid to 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 let your handlers know uh, what comes first. Yeah. Or this is too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's why I said I salute her for that. Yeah. Uh, and I'll salute to Summer Walker as well. Uh, hopefully she feels amazing. If she doesn't, feel better soon. Well, I'm glad she's getting the major markets for the remaining dates. Not to say that the B markets aren't great, but <laughs> remaining dates on play. Oh, is that what she's doing? San she's Fran, doing. Toronto, okay. Chicago, Boston, Philly, New York. She probably looked at the list like, hold up, the B markets is wild. Uh, right. Two NYC, <laughs> Atlanta. Yeah, now I'm getting that money. 